Hello, this is Kian Wormsley. I'm going to talk to you today about some more work I've been doing to integrate AutoCAD with Connect. So we're going to extend the application that we uh, delivered in the last or looked at in the last video, um, and that's to do sort of time lapse capturing using the Connect and combining those into a single point cloud. So I've made some very minor modifications that, that you'll find on my blog, really just to um, allow you to preview before the capturing process actually starts, so you just have to click to, to start that. Otherwise, it's, it's basically it's the same. Um, so what we're actually going to do today is to take a 2D profile um, and move it through 3D space, uh, capturing obviously that profile at various points throughout that that that. Um, that movement and then we're going to do a little bit of basic modeling against that point cloud inside AutoCAD and, and attempt to extract a profile and then extrude that through uh, 3D to make a, a, a solid piece of, of you know, geometry that, that represents that movement that we've made um, and captured using Connect. So let's get started. Um, here you'll see the um, the the AutoCAD 2012 and, and you've got the my window in the corner. Once again, we're going to use a command that we saw last time, which was kin bounds. And this is a command that we implemented in order to restrict the uh, the points that are being captured to a certain volume, so clipping volume. Then we're going to start the kin snaps command. Now, we'll do 10 captures. We'll do a second between each. Now, as a profile, I have this plate, which is actually my daughter's favorite plate, um, and it's got Baba Papa on it. Um, it's her favorite plate, so hopefully I can be done with this and get it back to her in time for lunch. So let's see. Um, so there we have the, the clipping volume you can see that's, that, that is obviously being captured. Um, with me in, I will move back a little bit so that I myself am just outside that volume, and I'll raise this plate so that we can see it, but we do want to have the plate inside the volume. And this is just, just restricting, slightly restricting the amount of, of, of points that we're going to be getting. So let's move that across a bit. That should be about right. And then I'm just going to click somewhere on here to get to, to get the process started. And then as soon as it turns red, we'll know that it's started. And then we can start moving. And we will continue to move that through space. OK. And I think that, well, we've probably got a few fewer captures of the plate than 10. We'll see how we get on with that. Um, now we're going to have to we'll switch over and, and, and do a little bit of modeling. We'll see how that works. So as the point cloud comes in, we'll be you know the, the visual style will be changing to conceptual, which will change mean that the, the bounding box already will become more obvious. Um, so one thing we can do is switch off the layer that includes that bounding box, um, so that we don't need to see that anymore. And let's have a look at our point cloud and see what we have there. So we have a um, you know we can see that we've got a capture in a number of different places. Once again, there you can see that there's a slight discrepancy from the RGB and the depth information so that it doesn't quite intersect perfectly. But the depth information should be accurate enough, so that's that's what we'll work with anyway. There we've got a couple of partial captures, and we'll, we'll see what we, we will live with that. So um, first of all, one thing I'm going to do just to show you a tool to make this a little bit easier to work with, um, I've got a point cloud ribbon tab here, and this actually comes from uh, uh, the shape extraction uh, feature for AutoCAD that's on Autodesk Labs. It's actually for 2011, AutoCAD 2011, but there is a process that you can follow on Scott Shepard's blog um, that will actually show you how to get it working for other vertical products, but it also works for, for 2012 as well. There's a few items on here that, that I've added um, in the past. And there's nothing you need to worry about, but um, just some extra work that I did, and it seemed like a natural place for those to be. So I'll crop down to this individual plate. For the others, for the others I won't bother, um, but here we can see that we have this plate. Um, and what we're going to do is just extract a profile from it. Now I've implemented a command called 3PCIR, which is three-point circle. Now the standard circle command inside AutoCAD does, a, does have a three-point option, but unfortunately it always manages to create that point relative to the current 
use a coordinate system whereas we don't want to have to we want to create our, 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 our essentially our circle in arbitrary 3d space so we'll do that and we'll see that we've got you know we've got a pretty representative circle there for our um, for our first plane so uncrop or uncrop there and we should have the others too now I won't bother cropping uncropping for the others because you know in the interest of time we're just going to use the 3p CIR command again and then hopefully by collect by clicking on the edges we'll be able to um, generate some more circles now we only really need one circle just to be uh, let me see where am I going don't you know just to be clear on what what our needs are for this particular you know this particular activity we only r r I'm really having, okay there we go I'm having trouble zoom uh, rotating around at the moment there we go let's try with that so we only need one profile the others I'm just actually creating more because I think it'll be it'll be useful um, let's see how that works useful from the perspective of, of being able to create the path between these three um, let's see there okay and we'll try that last one as well we'll just create the the, the extrusion path um, between the plates uh, having a circle just makes it a bit easier for us to select the center all right so i think we have a circle that's more or less there for each i mean it doesn't look perfect but we'll we'll live with that okay um then i'm just going to go to the osnap mode and we'll turn off node but make sure we have center enabled and then what we can do is draw a spline going between our first circle oops spline go between our first circle um, and we should be able to get that pretty well and then if we finish then let's see and we should have a relatively relatively good path there okay it seems to go through the circle of all the the center of all the circles so then from there if we go back to our home tab and we can just do a sweep um, of that first circle and we'll sweep it along the, the the spline path that we've created hopefully it'll 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 find a way to 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 sweep across it and there we have our 3d solid so let me just adjust the properties of this um, this solid and make it slightly more transparent we can already then and we could obviously assign a material of some sort uh, but already if we just go to transparency make it 60 percent transparent then you can see the 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 the, the, circ the, the plates inside our, our path and if we go back uh, let's see if changing the visual style does anything interesting um, we can change the the visual style from conceptual um, to to something such as well of course you could go to wireframe um, but let's go to realistic and see what happens there so we have a slightly different uh, view we have a kind of a glass tube following our our plates all right well that is basically what I wanted to show you today just just uh, an, an extension of what we we're working on last time this actually came in related to a very specific request um, from uh, from somebody in the UK that wanted to see this so we've been, been working together on this um, and it'll be interesting to see where they take this technique so thank you very much for watching I hope you found this interesting if you have any comments or if there's something else you'd like to see drop me an email post a comment via YouTube or via my blog um, and We'll see where we go from there. So thank you very much. Okay.